Samendra Labun Zamanga Samendra Savarna Samaya Hong. I call refuge on the name of the world. Your fame provides the three thousand words. You are the victor of Varjadara. With all I dropped, I bow at the feet of Father injecting some gone. Continually I think of no one but you. Compassionate one grant your blessings. Dispel the darkness that surrounds my heart. Please bless me so that I can realize and liberate nature of mind. Please turn the way of Dharma of the two vehicles and their combination according to disposition and delay wise the mental capacity of sentient beings. So now we go to the Varjasava prayer. Do you have that one, right? This uh, for the sadhana of glorious Varjasava with purify or negativity and benefits. You received that one, right? Everyone has? Okay. So we're going to do this practice first, then going to share the teaching. Namo from no until I reach for enlightenment. With intense faith and devotion, I take refuge in the Guru Varjasava, the Lord of all King of Buddhas, the Mandalas, no more from no until I reach for enlightenment with intense faith and devotion. I take refuge in the Guru Varjasava, the Lord of the ocean of Buddhas and the Mandalas. No more than the people, Lama Dorje Sambala. To liberate from samsara suffering or mother's ancient beings, so as in number that their first species it is self. And to bring them to the state of permanent happiness, I shall diligently engage my three doors, body, speech, and mind in, uh, in virtuous deeds and never depart from the path of enlightenment. To liberate from samsara suffering or mother's ancient being, so as in number that they fear space itself, and to bring them to the state of a permanent happiness, I shall diligently engage my three doors, body, speech, and mind in virtuous deeds, and never depart from the path of enlightenment. Na kanyang drawan taday keng tindi sala uyong ser lenga yeje zumba keng sancho lang dan darmesa. Ah, in front of oneself, amid the ocean clouds of various offerings, having what lotus and monk cushion. Sits the Lord of all Buddhas Varjasava, as pure white as the waxing moon. He has one face and two hands, the right as a Dorje to his heart. The left holds a bear at his west, adorned with the Sambonakaya ornaments. He sits cross legged in the Varjara possession, radiating with his own leg, which provides the ten directions. Thus vividly visualize with a clear, pure mind. Allah Sanguru, Varjasava, do not go back on your word. I beseech you to hold me and all beings, destroy to like me with your compassion. All negativities and the transgressions committed throughout my three doors. In all my love times without the beginning, which are like deadly poison I have taken, I expose and confess with intense remorse and regret. From now on, even at the cost of my life, I will never commit any improper deeds. Please look up in us with your compassionate eyes. 
Bestow the relief of liberation with your gentle hand. May all distraction and the transgression of Samaya, my own and all beings be purified, and may all the spring and the common seeds be accomplished at this very moment. Go back to Tibetan, page two. I run the injured jams away. Begara da ve den den do. Ring the pardon door jessen. Kasara da vai jebendang. Charge sanye do dernam. Longa che zoi che yo. Ye were so gentle, Dan the young Lamersar, Gemma Lamai Dorjessen, Nature Tamja near Gone, Das on young Dais in Jena, Tuji Jesus in Baranzo. Tommy Tin et Abarth, Lena Yeje de Gongam, Jada Konga to Sondar, Nun Yu Tabin Torjensha, Sinje Sola Babjurjan, Melena Mejena. Zombe Jinja Zinzula, Yamni Saka Oyonzor, Dadan Simje Tamje, Tamzen Yamcha Gain Dajin, Chodan the Mong Dogain, Dadan Yetan Rabarazu. Om Benzara Sato 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 Om So now you can Meditate Vajasava there, chant Vajasava Matara. <clears throat> I'm going to share the teaching. Tangge Duje Jaja Raisen Ron Jinja Mado Deja Punjamba Sergio Lembo Tower Jeeper, Jaja Jarbu Jalai Gizanze. 
Dorjen jan jen de lo narodan. Nilje jan jen de lo narodan. Marba malai chije gambo pa pamo tre pa jarwa indigon. Kaje lama nan lai zorwa inde. Rome chije yenje borane. Tizon sanje genje ngowonye. Ransim jigen ozon donze be, Tawe lama nan la zorwa inde. Ne jen rogo zeng me jen gansu, Yan bara doge sing la yen la mi, Jimmy Pinzo Jalai Zorwand, Gonju Toban Power Zinjelo. Good morning, everyone. So, do you have the this uh, teaching sadhana? I think you have, right, everyone? Okay. I'm going to share this uh, Manjushiri uh, is a uh, path, <clears throat> what is a ground path result that Mahamudra Dzogchen teaching. Uh, today I'm going to share with you this. So when you receive this teaching, you also have to accumulate your homework is 110,000, sorry, not 100,000, 10,000 Vajra, Vajra Sava Mantra, accumulation merit. And uh, so that's why we practice Vajra Sava before. Uh, this teaching is, uh, when I read the Tibetan, it's very beautiful amazing but when i'm going to talk to english actually i cannot really deliver it to you like exactly the meanings so it's it's not simple like not easy like that but i try much ever i can uh, so this actually the you know the the today teaching is root text there's many many commentaries so the commentaries are elaborated. If we go to commentary, we're going to lost. So better we stick with the root text. Uh, so, you know, sometimes root text is more easy than commentaries. Uh, I try to just much ever I can explain through the root text. Uh, so when you also receive a teaching, we have to also practice and meditate this uh, Dzogchen, this one, is have to practice. So also we, uh, when we receive this teaching, we have to recognize precious teaching and important. Uh, that's the reason we have to accumulate Vajrasava mantra. Uh, so that also helps us, you know, uh, for our meditation, remove the obstacle too. Uh, the actually the of course all the that Buddha's teaching has performed and uh, benefits everyone. Uh, depending also how much we care about the teaching. So if we don't really care much then teaching really don't much benefit. If you really care about the teaching and you practice, the Dharma always benefit. Uh, so that's why, so when share the Dharma, is usually not allowed to publicly. The reason is because uh, if someone don't care about the Dharma, then they're not going to benefit. So, you really care about the teaching, so you practice it, that the teaching really benefit you. That's the reason I just give you homework is 110,000 accumulation mantra is like just testing, you really care about it or not, you know? 
if you really care about the teaching, so then uh, 10,000 accumulation or just have a mantra is very easy. Uh, someone who don't care the much teaching, the 10,000 mantra is no easy. It's very hard for them. So that is why I said that is that just test for you, okay? And then also, if you go up to more, of course, like what just our practice create chant accumulation, Mary is purify our obscurations. Our mind is become more connect with the Dharma. And then Dharma really benefit for us. Uh, so we, you know, some levels we have a lot obscurations because due to our negativity deeds, so many lifetimes. Uh, even we wanted a Dharma, but sometimes it didn't go right direction. So, you know, sometimes we think we're doing correctly, but not really follow the correctly because due to obstacles. Uh, sometimes we think we know the teachings, then we get, you know, kind of a more arrogant and uh, pride. So that's also obstacle too. Sometimes we read the books and we think it's all I know. It's like we wanted to talk and share. So then we don't practice ourselves. So that's also become go to the obstacle too. So that's the reason we, uh, you know, have to do the something before the receiving teachings have a preliminary practice. The why we have the preliminary practice that helps our minds more connect with the Dharma and follow the spiritual path correctly. Less obscuration and purify obscurations. Uh, so that's the reason we require different kind, you know, preparation practice. Uh, that helps us, you know. Sometimes we think, oh, we, if we don't do the preparation, so we don't understand Dharma, not that case. Uh, even you don't do the Vajrasava Mantra, still you understanding this teaching, but uh, your mind, you know, just get more afflictive emotions. Maybe that means like actually it's obscuration, you know, on the path. It's uh, Dharma, like mind is not really connect with the Dharma that much and no much benefit. Uh, that's why we have required the preparation prayers practice. Okay, so then today this teaching is absolute truth, the Majushiri, composed by the Mapam Ramboche. So Mapam Ramboche is a Nima tradition, very famous scholar. Uh, uh, so he has many, you know, books and he wrote teachings about uh, philosophy, Maya Minka teachings. Uh, so uh, also he has like different philosophy, uh, you know, the teaching commentaries. Uh, in the Nima tradition, the Mapam Roboche is the just well knowing, everyone knows, and a very famous one. Uh, he, his uh, uh, teachings, commentaries, and the Jigdin Sumgun's commentary teachings is very similar in many ways. Uh, so he also wrote the the Jigong Kaju, the one of the prayer. Uh, called the increasing the increasing the energy aspiration. So he wrote that one. Is we have in the book. Usually we chant often. This one is made the teaching of Guru Digomba Ranashiri, who is omniscient Lord of Dharma, Master of Interdependence, continue to increase through study, practice, contemplation, and meditation until the end of the samsara. So that's also he composed this uh, Mapam Ramboche. Uh, so when I was in the Kempo Jimmy Pinto place, so Kempo Jimmy Pinto is uh, 
very devotion to the Mapang Rinpoche. He shared lots of teachings from Mapang. Uh, so I received a thing in there, this teaching. Uh, so today I'm sharing this one. It's the first time for you. Uh, it's uh, the 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 first time. One, the you know before I didn't share this because it's uh, it's hard to share. My English also not enough to sharing with you. Uh, so then some reasons we last month we did the Manjushri Sritu, the practicing, and then I saw this also translations. Very beautiful. So that's why I'm thought it's ready to share. So many connection, connections arise. I think that's also one of the auspicious great, you know, too. Uh, so then we, we are shared this teaching during that time also we can create uh, what just our accumulation merit. And then this month also. It's a miraculous month. Buddha's called miraculous month. It's Tibetan is called Bumjur Dawa. Uh, means like hundred thousand times increasing uh, special month. So then today is especially for four month, four moon day. That's also all is a uh, is good auspicious. Uh, many conditions come together. So then when you receive that this, when I share this teaching, when you're going to receive this teaching, you also just think about to visualize I'm receiving this teaching is like, which is you have a strong devotion to your guru. So think about that and gurus are receiving from that guru. And that also helps you get blessing. Uh, then of course, like when you receive the teaching, you can visualize where you leave the place. Also, you can visualize the Buddha's pure lane. In pure place, is transformed to the pure lane, pure pure perception. We create a pure perception, pure lane. Uh, then, where you leave the house, also you can visualize is Buddha's palace. You can re visualize yourself also. Buddha's retinue and the teacher is also like Buddha and then all the Sangha also visualize Buddha's retinue. So that's where also great way to receive the teaching. Uh, helps like our impure perception is transformed, change to pure perception. Uh, so that's uh, usually when we receive the teaching, always teacher remind for everyone, students, when we share the teaching, usually the change the perception, change the intention. So th that part is very important, two things, see? Uh, change the perception is, uh, we have all these impure perceptions all the time. Uh, that's create the causes of some sara habituate. And then we, we have opportunity when you receive the teaching, you change the perceptions. In pure perceptions change to pure perceptions. Uh, so then of course, like we have to create mind generation too. Mind generation also when you receive the teaching and the practice, we have to remind them again. And we have to recognize our mind is like intention. So today, like you think about it, see, we, I'm going to receive this teaching in the formal day. Uh, I want to practice this and also I want to purify my karma and I want to liberate myself, also want to benefit for others. So that kind of intention you, you just create, you know. Sometimes we say, okay, you're only thinking about other beings also hard. Uh, we have to think about ourselves and then think about others together. So Buddha means accomplishing two things, accomplishing own benefit, accomplishing others' benefit. So when we mind generation, also we can think about our own benefits and for others' benefit. That's the reason I'm going to listening the teaching. 
starting practice. Okay, so that helps like become this uh, teaching is more benefit to you. Uh, more we can think about for others, like more long as you have mind generation, that teaching really benefit you and, and uh, also purify our karma. Uh, so that two things required before receive teaching, like, you know, change the perception, create mind generation. And then uh, the, this uh, teaching, the name first, the name is the self readings of inter in indestructible awareness and emptiness in aspiration towards the meaning of the indivisible grown path and fruition of the great perfection manjushri. Uh, so, self-reading of indestructible in, in awareness and emptiness in aspiration towards the meaning. That's all talking about our own nature, Buddha nature. So our own nature is self-reading, means always there. Uh, you know, never lost. This word is exactly the same as in the, our, uh, you know, the, usually we chant the supplication, Tara has like self-arising, you know, self-arising. Uh, so same meanings, self-reading, always there, and always that has qualities. So the same is the sun. Sun is actually self-arising. This clause is like same as obstacles, emotions, you know. Sun is always there. There has always readings of indestructible. So actually this clouds, thunderstorms, never uh, affected to the sun. So like that, our the Buddha nature is self readings of indestructible, means like emotions, obscurations, suffering, never affected. Uh, awareness, so then that is awareness and emptiness. Self arising is awareness and emptiness. So our mind nature is awareness, no nothingness. When you meditate, uh, you can recognize your own experience, awareness. Then, and emptiness means that it's always empty, but no nothingness, awareness, always present. Always present means awareness. <laughs> the always present, that is emptiness. The emptiness is always present there. So that is called indestructible self readings It's Buddha nature. Mm. So then, in aspiration towards the meaning of the indivisible ground, so no, this is the prayer for aspiration prayer. For aspiration prayer to the, our own nature. Uh, in aspiration towards uh, the meaning of the indivisible ground. So meaning of the indivisible ground, path and the fruition of great perfection manjushri. So no think about this one, indivisible of a ground. The indivisible ground is us right now. We are indivisible ground. The why we are called the indivisible ground, we have the, the Buddha nature. Same is the Manjushri's nature we have. We have that ground. So usually all sentient beings is ground, means everyone has a nature indivisible ground. Part is uh, Bodhisattvas. 
So Bodhisattva who practice, they are on the path. So we can say we are in the path too. Because we have grown Buddha nature, so we want to discover that. Now we are on the path. Uh, so we removing the, our obstructions. It's, that is called path. And the fruition of the then, we 100% our own, uh, discovered our own nature. The 100% when we discovered our own nature is called fruition. So ground we have that nature on the path we're going to discover our own nature. Result is we hundred percently discovered our own nature. So then become we are the great perfection of Manjushri means like so we are same as the Manjushri, no difference. So we have the Manjushri's nature right now, all sentient beings. So this is, we can follow by Manjushri. We can usually talk about Buddha, you know, all beings the same as Buddha. Uh, that is the ground. Ground, all sentient beings the same as Buddha. But on the path, not. Because the sentient beings has so much obscurations. And Bodhisattvas, like usually Bodhisattva core means who, uh, try to re come, uh, discovering the, you know, nature. So that is Bodhisattvas. In the, who is on the path, it's called Bodhisattvas. And then who 100% discovered own nature is called Buddha. So see that is followed by ordinary people, Bodhisattva and Buddha. Then we can be ordinary people, we can be Bodhisattva, we can be become Buddha. So two obscurations is there. That time we are ordinary because we don't know we have this nature. And afflictive emotion is purifying on the path. That's times called Bodhisattva. And two obscurations, 100% purified is called Buddha. And uh, the main point is grown path fruition is no difference, it's all same. So example is sun is under the thunderstorm. That is the same as the ordinary beings, nature, you know, ordinary beings, people, don't recognize they have own nature, quality, even know any recognize. Same is like science go to thunderstorm. We don't see the sun and we never ever know where is the sun. We never think about the science in the sky. So that kind we get, right? View, thoughts. So that time is called ordinary beings. Then uh, the clothes become less, you recognize where is the sun, but still clouds. That is called on the path. It's Bodhisattva. And 100% clouds is dispersed. Sun is shining, it's called Buddha. So the three times, sun is the same actually. Sun is not changed. Only the clouds, you know, thunderstorm is gone. So like that, we have always nature, but now we have a thunderstorms. It's our emotions. Right. We don't recognize the Buddha nature there. And become, we remove the, our emotion, thunderstorm. So less emotions, then uh, we know we have nature, but 100% not discovered, but we know we have a nature. And we purify some certain levels of the emotions. That time is we are on the path, is we are Bodhisattva. And then 100% remove the emotions. That time we are Buddha. Right. So actually one person, grown path result is one person. 
no different person, right? So same is the sun is like under the thunderstorm and the less clouds, free from the clouds, sun is the same, sun is never change. So that's the same is like that. Our nature is always there and the same. Uh, that's why it's called indestructible, indestructible awareness. The emotions never affected to the, our nature. Nature is always there. Uh, then uh, that is the perfection of Manjushri. The perfection is then sometimes we call Dzogchen, sometimes we call Mahamudra and Mayaminka. So that all its name is different. When you're really into the, the same state, it's no difference or it's the same become. Uh, sometimes we call like, we are same as Yadam Deity. So that means also perfection, Manjushri. We are become rich to same nature. Uh, so that time you can say like, oh, it's, I have realized Dzogchen. You can say, I have realized Mahamudra. I have realized Yadam Deity. It's become, it's all same. No difference, just words is a different meaning is the same thing. So that is the name of the theater that's teaching today. By Mapam Ramboche, so he uh, did this teaching. Uh, so, okay, that is the book of the theater. So no, it's the homage, I think it's looks like homage. Mm. Homage is you embody the wisdom of all the blessed, gone Buddhas and their hairs throughout the 10 directions and the four times and kept to the way of no duality. Uh, Ever youthful Manjushri, gentle splendor, the state of a perfect quality. Perfect quality may be spontaneously perfect the rare meaning of no action. Uh, so that is a supplication to Manjushri, absolute truth of Manjushri. Uh, homage to also Manjushri. Uh, you embody the wisdom of all the blessed. Gone Buddhas and their hairs throughout the 10 directions. So main point is Manjushri, you are the, so all the Buddhas, you know, quality you have. So mean the, this is the Mapan Rinpoche, he prays to Manjushri and the supplication to Manjushri. So the, embody of the wisdom. So Manjushri, you are the embody of wisdom. So you are, you are embody of wisdom of all the blessed, means Buddhas, gone Buddha, and their hairs through all the 10 directions and four times. So 10 direction Buddhas and three times Buddhas. So all the Buddhas, uh, embodiment of wisdom is you, Manjushri. So that's the, you know, press to Manjushri through all the, the 10 directions and the four times and kept to the way of non-duality. Uh, if ever youth for Manjushri, Gentle splendor, the state of a perfect quality. So you have all the qualities, the uh, press to Manjushri, like you have a body, speech, mind, all the qualities perfectly. Maybe spontaneously perfect the rare meaning of no action. So no, we uh, aspiration, you know, we are supplication to Manjushri. We are wishing to same is the you. So this is the Mapam Rinpoche he wrote, he said, I also be same as the you, wishing same as the you, maybe spontaneously. Uh, so perfect the rare, rare meaning of non-action. 
Uh, that is the absolute truth the Manjushri. Absolute truth the Manjushri is, uh, you know, quality is like say spontaneously means effortlessly benefit for others, spontaneously. Perfect the rare meaning means like all the Buddha's quality has. No action means like no dualistic thoughts. We have like perception thoughts, we have a dualistic thoughts. So that's the reason we have also effort. We need effort. Uh, so Manjushri has is the Buddha. He's he's into the nature, so he, he don't have uh, dualistic conceptual thoughts. And Majushiri has all the Buddha's perfect qualities. He benefits spontaneously for other beings. So that quality Manjushiri has, uh, that's the press to supplication to Manjushiri. Then second is a press to and the supplication to the gurus. Uh, with the devotion of viewing, the promoter, protector, and the glory as guru. So this is uh, actually followed by the kind of a uh, one verses, you know, together. Whole thing is uh, like one verses. So, uh, it's uh, first this verses is like majishri. Second, this verses is uh, pressed to the guru with a devotion. So supplication to guru, we need a devotion. That's why with devotion of wearing the pro model protector and glory as guru. So guru is like our protector. Uh, uh, pro model protector and glory as guru. As the enlightening body of truth. So guru is like enlightening body. Uh, is uh, absolute truth. Then enlightening body is ab absolute truth. It's called Dharma Kaya of a perfect quality. So has uh, all the perfect qualities. Uh, so this, uh, the Dharma Kaya of a perfect quality and as the enlightening body of a truth is, um, is very similar main point is so enlightening body of truth is Dharma Kaya. Then Dharma Kaya quality who has, that is called embody, uh, enlightening body of truth. So the main point is who have realized all phenomena is emptiness. So that is called then enlightening body of truth. Uh, that is called enlightening of Dharmakaya form. Form means like not, uh, you know, like the ordinary form, you know, like kind of physical object. This form referred to Dharmakaya means emptiness. All this seeing form is emptiness. It's when we have realized that, then we have Buddha's body. So that is called uh, Dharmakaya of perfect qualities. May the inspiration of the automatic lineage be transferred into our hearts. So we are supplication to Guru. Uh, as the blessing for our mind, you know, heart. What the Guru's King give blessing for us in separation, in separation of the automatic lineage. Automatic lineage is all this, uh, uh, the automatic lineage is absolute truth lineage. You know that we, uh, supplication to Guru is help us to please help me to recognize our own nature. So in separation of the automatic lineage, that's a, usually we think about, see, 
lineage, you know, lineage blessing means like, oh, Buddha, then his disciples all the way come to until now. We wishing them from them get blessing, right? And we also like see, think about the Dorjian Chan, Telopa, Naropa, Marpalota, Malarepa, all these lineage teachers with supplication to get blessing for us. So this one is actually the us is more deporting that level. Uh, see, this supplication also like actually go to ultra level, inner level, secret level, three different levels. Uh, and this is looks like more going into the secret level as blessing, you know, the lineage blessing, secret level lineage, lineage blessing. Uh, made in separation means to see our uh, mind nature is always there. So uh, I think that's referred to this, you know, self reading of indestructible awareness and emptiness. So that we always have that, we wishing that recognize that nature, our own nature. Uh, so made an inspiration of the atomic lineage. So that is absolute truth lineage. Absolute truth lineage is uh, recognize our own nature is absolute truth lineage. Uh, so that's why the made inspiration of the atomic lineage be transformed into our hearts as blessing recognize our own nature. So long as we recognize our own nature, then that is the atomic lineage, absolute truth lineage. And may we gain the great empowerment of expression of awareness. So then that is also the core empowerment too, great empowerment. What is the great empowerment is maybe gain the great empowerment of the expression of awareness. When we recognize our own nature, so that is the great empowerment, the absolute truth empowerment. So usually we receive empowerment is uh, uh, more followed by auto level, you know. But this one, is a great empowerment. Why we call great empowerment of the expression of awareness. We have to recognize our own nature. And then that is the great empowerment. So that uh, versus is a supplication to guru. The guru is like, I'm beginning last time already Buddha with, see, with the devotion of wearing the pro model protector of guru is guru, pro model protector and glory as guru. Uh, so realize already on own nature that who, re, who has realized the own nature, that is a guru. Then we, you know, with the devotion, we have to see the guru is the same as Buddha, Dharmakaya. With devotion, we have to see the Guru is the same as Buddha, Dharmakaya. Then, as the blessing is absolute truth, the blessing, absolute truth, the lineage, have to, our, we have to recognize our own nature. Then, when we recognize our own nature, then that is a great empowerment. So, then that is the truth, awareness. That is the supplication to the guru. Uh, so now we, that part is all is uh, uh, the beginning section. Om, say, title of the book, the teaching, and the homage to Manjushri, homage to guru. Uh, so this also showing, you know, when you meditate, when you're ready to meditate, close eye, you have to visualize the guru, you have to visualize the Yadam deity too. Supplication to Yadam deity, supplication to guru, and then into the, your meditation. 
into the natural state. Uh, so same is like we talk about the five part Mahamudra. We have the mind generation first, then visualize Yadam Deity, visualize Guru, and then go into the Mahamudra. So when you practice this teaching, so first you change your intention and then visualize Manjushri and supplication to Manjushri and then go to the supplication to Guru. Uh, after that, go into the Mahamudra Dzogchen practice. Okay, so now we go into the main teaching is here. Promodorly present and does not forget through wax exertion. Uh, so this is talking about the ground. So now I think it looks like this teaching is followed by part no, no, ground, path, and result. So I didn't read the commentaries. Uh, uh, just, you know, I think it's that way going this because we already talked the ground, path, result, right? Uh, so that's why it's starting here is ground. Uh, ground is pro modally present means like always there. Pro modally means like I'm beginning less time until now. The our nature is never separate us. Always there, pro modally. Present. Present means actually always there, never lost. So this also helps. You know, sometimes we see the oh, this is guys like really terrible, so much create no virtuous deeds. You know, sometimes we see that, but actually that person also have a natural, Buddha nature, never separate. You know, you, you have to recognize it that way. Every sentient beings who has difficulty suffering, who does like create no virtuous deeds. When we see that people, you know, sometimes like we feel bad or angry, you know, so that kind of, you know, like attitude arise our mind, but you have to think about all oh, this all has this nature. Everyone has the nature. Always their nature is there, but they don't recognize because it's, it's emotion is so strong, you know? So long as you will recognize that way, then arise compassion to others. Practice uh, this, uh, you know, ground path result is a, a perfection of wisdom with a method to go together. So method is love and compassion. So we think, okay, promoter present and does not forget through exertion. All, all nature is there. We know that, but then if you really don't contemplate it, uh, we cannot create our love and compassion for others. So when you chant these prayers, you have to contemplate it. Meditate means, you know, like we contemplate, meditate, and uh, then come back to the, you know, pause meditation. Uh, you more, more you recognize this other beings is Buddha. That has nature. We recognize that. So that's why we, we have to contemplate when we meditate, you know, practice. Uh, if we don't contemplate, if we don't meditate, when we come back to the post meditation, then we see that, okay, this is the terrible person, or this is like animal, or this is just like something else. Like we don't really connect with others. And then also same time we connect with the negative way. So due to the, our emotions, because uh, we are also going to the stuck with the, you know, uh, others' emotions too, together. So someone like create no virtuous deeds, then you, so we see that we upset that people, person, and not happy with that person. And then we are also stuck with them too. 
So then that person also uh, affected us, our own mind. So that means like see negative person can affect it for others, others' minds. So long as a negative person affected our own mind, that time, then that time we don't have enough practice. So we have to recognize that, yeah. Uh, we see the others like doing something wrong, no virtuous deeds. So that time, then you recognize, oh, this person and this being has primarily present Buddha nature, always there, but he has due to the emotions, no recognize, and he has so much negativity, you know, the obstacles. That's why he is doing or the doing wrong things. You recognize that, then you has wisdom, you know, you, you recognize that is your wisdom. Then long as you recognize that arise compassion to them, even you know have love, but comes compassion to them. Yeah. So long as compassion arise, then that person not going to affect us, our own mind. So that person is become help us generate our compassion. That person helps our generate our wisdom. So long as we have that kind, you know, perception or view, ability to do that, then easy to practice Dharma, easy to engage with other people. Long as we have that kind, uh, you know, uh, ability, we don't have the ability, then we need to put our own effort, contemplate, meditate again and again. So long as you have that kind of ability, transforming, that's called transforming, then your practices very easily become, you know, uh, so growing or easily increasing your practice then everything is become causes of a, of a practice of dharma. Then all the condition is always there. So that is the become difference than practitioners, ordinary person. Uh, no ordinary person is, everything is causes of desires. Everything is like causes of, causes of emotions. Okay, so that is ordinary uh, person. Then when you are on the path and you practice, like your practice really go to right direction, everything is a causes of a Dharma practice. Everything is a con condition of for Dharma practice. So that is the Jiktin Sungun, he said in the, uh, in the Gongjek, you know, all this phenomena activity of the Buddha, all this phenomena activity of the Buddha. So I don't recognize that word before. It's we, we have a lot of doubt about that word. Then when we are Shedans, we're debating lots about that, that too. So all the object is activity of a Buddha. That, that is very hard to understand. You know, no easy. So no, I uh, learned, you know, when Gachin Rinpoche was in the prison, so Kenpo Minsa, he gave some instructions for Gachin Rinpoche. He used that method practice. So no uh, understanding what that means. All this phenomena activity of Dharma. It's a dependent individual, you know, like, so just I told you, if we don't have ability, everything is causes of samsara. So long as you have, you know, like uh, something levels understanding, and then everything is activity of a Buddha. Buddha means you, we, the, uh, the helping us waking up, you know. Buddha helps us waking up. Everything helping waking up us. This is activity Buddha, because when I have like distract our mind, my mind, Emotions are rain this bear, and the mind is become connected with this. 
I can release emotions. So that is like activity Buddha, okay? Yeah. Then there's a cup activity Buddha. So this cup activity samsara too, either ways. I have this cup and I'm very strong attached to this cup. That is activity samsara, right? I have this cup and when I use this cup, when I use this cup, I visual, this cup is like whatever I put in the cup is offering. And I use the offering, chant the offerings. Also, a cup is also true offering to Buddha. Uh, you know, it's uh, even this cup, you know, I see, when I see this cup, I recognize it's, this cup is impermanent. See, then this cup helping me recognize impermanent. This cup helping me, you know, increasing my accumulation merit because I can use the offering object. So like that, you know, then think about all this object, everything is happening for our waking up our own mind. You see the beautiful flower, you attach to that, causes of a samsara, you see the beautiful flower offering, causes of happiness, waking up our mind. When you see the flower, okay, the flower is impermanent. You know, we recognize, oh, this is impermanent because it's so beautiful and all it comes like causes of conditions, not permanent. It's, it's like come, everything that comes from causes of condition is impermanent change. You recognize that, that also like, Minds become flower, helping you waking up, you recognize impermanent. So impermanent is introduced, see, attachment, right? So that way, every object is helping us, you know, activity of the Buddha, helping us like something benefit us. So when Gachin Rinpoche was in the present, you see, Kenpo means that he, give teaching him. So Gajay Roboche, first years, he's so much suffering in the prison, he said, right? And so much suffering in difficulty. And then Kempo Minser give him all the instructions, like you have to practice, your, your mind is wrong, you know? You need to change intention and the perceptions. So he, what Kempo Minser taught, he visualized the whole prison is Buddha's pure lane. And the prison is Buddha's pure lane. Then all this, like who, you know, the, the prison guides, like who is the officials people are, that he visualized there are all the just activity of the Buddha and the pure lane activity Buddhas. And whatever they ask him to do, like things, the, the he visualize all object of the Dharma. So then they ask him to read the newspaper, like some, the, the give a job to Campbell means have to read the newspaper. The newspaper is of course all is like pressed to the communists, you know, and therefore they are perfect, wonderful. So when he read this all is like he visualize his, you know, practice the Dharma teaching. Newspaper is like Dharma text and all is Dharma practice. See, then this negative is never affected him. So he teach that for others, also help him, them others transformed. And uh, so Garcia Roboche, when he was there, he had to work so hard in the, you know, labor camp. Campbell Minister told all this you have to visualize is, you know, activity of Dharma. So, he did that become no suffering in there in the last years, last, I mean, the first year he's suffering, but second year, third year, I think it's a suffering is less and less, less, become happy and joy to work for that, to do that. So when he come back, Gajin he said like, my person is no Western time. So my person is helps me and transform. So like that, you know, no, we are also in this person. Actually, we are all in the samsara person. So we think we are 
perfect grade, but actually we are in the prison, you know, samsara's prison, because due to the emotion, we are still like existing in the samsara. Uh, so we have to recognize that, and then our all activity is just, you know, change the, like, you know, using the different method, uh, create, you know, something change, you know, use a different method, uh, each different uh, levels practice, you know, which use different method and uh, reduce the, our negative mind. So then all the, all the object is become activity of Dharma. Then actually who harm us, who not happy for us, who, who create difficult for us, that person also become, you know, it's the uh, same as Buddha. Because he help, that person helping us is reduce our negative emotions. And that person helping us, waking up us, you know. Otherwise, like that person is torture us, like followed by ordinary person way, perception way, then everything is the causes of like become samsara too. So that's the, you know, like uh, you receive these teachings and uh, uh, we have to like cultivate and think about that often and often our ability that really helps, you know. So transforming these uh, negative things. So negative or non negative is like, we have a choice. We can, you know, transform everything. Long as we have ability, you know, like mindful and ability to do that. Okay, so no, pro modally present, always there, nature is always there. Doesn't matter who you are. So you are, you know, we are, say, oh, we are human being. We have this nature, doesn't matter which, na which nationality you are, which genders you are, doesn't matter. You have the nature always presently there. Okay, then someone like, see, is reborn to the hungry gods, animals, or gods, realms, wherever there, these beings has always this nature there. The never lost the nature, pro modally present. And does not for, uh, forget through exert, exertion. Then you don't have to try to get that because we have that. You don't have something, then you have to try to get that, right? But this one, you don't have to try to get somewhere else. You have already. Yeah. So this one, you don't have to pay to buy. You don't have to recourse to someone, you know, you have that, I don't have, give me please that, you know. The, the main point, we have that, we have to recognize our own nature. You know, you don't have to ask to someone to give it to you that. Uh, so you don't have to beg for someone to ask, you know. You don't have to buy. It's, this one is we have always us within us, so we can afford that, okay? Something we say, oh, we cannot buy because so much cost, right? This is no cost. We always have that, we have recognized. Uh, you don't have to put any effort, try to get that. You have that, you have to recognize that. So no, next sentence is, it does not depend on capacity or constitution. See, not dependent anyone. Some things like, uh, you know, activities, of course, like many things are dependent for others. This, only this nature is not dependent on others. So actually other everything is dependent for others. This nature is not dependent for others. 
uh, it does not depend on capacity or constitution. See, no dependent capacity, no constitution. Like means like doesn't matter we are human being or animals or lower realms or higher realms or Buddha. So everyone has this nature. This nature is not dependent on anyone. Okay. So then why we need Buddha, why we need Dharma, why we need Sangha, we, we not depending for others, then we, we no need to them to dependent. If long as you recognize, you don't need to depend on, right? You have that, you, you, if you recognize, when you recognize that is a Buddha, that is a Dharma, that is a Sangha. We don't recognize right now, the problem is we don't recognize we have that nature. So that nature is a Buddha, that nature is a Dharma, that nature is a Sangha. That's why we have a depending, you know, relatively truly Buddha, Dharma, Sangha to recognize this nature. Make sense or no? Do you understand? Yeah. Okay, so this is very good. You know, like all sentient beings is equal. No higher, no lower. So all this Buddha fears, sex realms is equal. Actually, Buddha's sentient beings is equal. No difference. Uh, no, only we talk about human beings equal right, right? All sentient beings equal right. <laughs> then we have that. Why we don't know that? So as it is so simple, we dropped this mystery of the mind. It is so simple. Actually, it's very simple to know that, but it's complicated. We create a complicated. You know, that's why, no, we don't understand. We don't recognize. It is so simple. You know, it's simple because it just into nature means like you don't have to put any effort. Yeah. It's, we already talked effortless. You don't have to find somewhere else. Always there. Uh, so then you don't have to like buy and like we don't have to think about how can I afford these things. You don't have to think about anything. It's effortlessly. Always there presently. So then we dropped this mastery of the mind. This mastery means like kind of magical. It's very magical. It's secret level means like there. The problem is we didn't recognize that, realize that. Because why we don't, why we don't recognize it's so simple. That's why we don't recognize. We create a complicated, you know. So your eye can see something is uh, far away but you cannot see something in too close to your eye here. So like that, you know, the problem is, this nature is always within us, always there, so that's why we don't recognize. Then, how do we recognize this? Let the Guru's instructions give us the strength to see. No any other, method to recognize, only one method to recognize. So this recognize is not depending power, not depending worth, right? And not depending all this samsara, you know, power and, uh, uh, you know, the object or these uh, conditions. If you have like thousand guns, not possible to give you someone, oh, this is your nature. Uh, you have 1,000 guns, I'm very scared of you. So, oh, this is your, your nature, please take this. No one have you that way, you know. Not depending on your thousand guns. Not depending on your president. You are not depending on your army general. Not depending for your king or minister, you know. 
So you no dependent or billionaires, something like that. So then this is like dependent. What is it for dependent? Let the guru's instructions. So guru's instruction, give us the strength and the truth. See, then you can see. Guru is like, you have to know, guru means, guru is uh, who recognizes that nature, that person is a guru. Okay, so not to guru means like something like ultra level, uh, spiritual teachers looking, you know. Uh, so guru is a, the who has realization, who recognizes that nature, that person is called guru. Then guru has, of course, many different levels there too. So that's why when we meditate this, before you have to supplication to guru, it's hard to recognize this nature. Uh, so then Guru's instructions, it's called Pit instructions. Pit instruction is also followed by individual level. You know why we tradition, Guru's guide, student, few people, group, you know, individual, because they know what that person need. Okay. Then that is called pit instruction. That means like whatever guru share to you, not suit for someone others. That is called pit instruction and secret teaching. Because a different individual level, you know. So now this time the problem is, oh, I heard this teaching told me this. I asked these questions, he told me that. Then they talk about everyone like, okay, we do this. That's also sometimes incorrect information too. Not always right, right? So no, this due to right now, we don't have a like semi like, you know, like before the gurus and the student, you know, like the relationship and the God together. We don't have like that kind of uh, opportunity in this time because it's called due to the dead generation time. No, we have this many conditions, great conditions, but some, some levels we still missing, you know, there too. Uh, the, we have lots of good conditions because due to the technologies, right? No, we can come out, everyone in the zone, we can, I can share teaching, you can listening, we can gathering together. Uh, but this helps you, you understand teaching. Some levels like kind of same is like before the gurus guide the students. That time, you know, like they don't share this like teaching kind of publicly because then look to the person's ability and then what the person's need. Even when they share, they use the different words. Okay. It's, a, it's okay. This part is the, the not ready to this person. They share, they use different words. Guru also has a good ability. And then that time student that who listening, they has a strong devotion and 100% take the Guru's advice in the heart and the mind, put practice. So that is called Guru and student relationship. And then that person get a realization. So we don't have to think about like something history. See, Gajin Ramboche, he really talked Campbell Minster's pit instruction and use that and practice. So now we have his biography he already shared. So you have English, uh, that teachings, I mean, the biography, you, I think mostly you get that one. You read that, you understanding. That all God is also not generally teaching guiding, you know, it's for specifically person giving it in, uh, you know, instruction for them. That is called pit instruction. So if you give it for all the prisoners, the same like that God, some people not ready to hear that, doesn't like that kind of instruction, you know? 
don't accept that kind of instruction. Uh, even some, some okay, but they don't put really effort to take that advice, you know? So that's why it's teaching benefit or not. It's like first already that we talked is capacity. Capacity means like you really understand and take that instruction is hard, then you have that capacity. Otherwise, like you just come to join and hang out in the teaching that we cannot say you have a capacity. So I can say you have good connections, okay? That also not too bad. It's a great generation time, even you have that, that also great. But we're talking about capacity is like really highest level good 100% quality, then that's the hardest, right? Then that way it's like, I don't have a capacity to actually share this teaching. You mostly also don't have a capacity to hear this teaching, but we create like each other, you know, helping each other and create a karmic imprints. So we just create like good connections to this teaching. So that's, we have that level, you know, we don't have like highest level, like capacity. Uh, let Guru's instruction give us the strength to see. Then you Guru's giving instruction, you follow that practice, you, you become, uh, that helps you, you know, like you really understand and transform your, or uh, the, how to say the practice level or the transform the all the negativity and the, into the spiritual path, increasing your practice level, strength, strength to see. Then you get realize, realize your own nature. Uh, so then also this Guru's instruction giving us the strength to see is. Mahamudra and Dzogchen teaching, Peter instruction call. Uh, we follow by the Mayaminka teaching. We don't say this way, you know, let the Guru's instruction give us the strength to see. Mayaminka is, uh, you have to study, you know, very hard, like understanding Dharma first, study, and then you have to practice. So step by step, you get first for me realization, see? So that takes two eons, actually. So then Guru's instruction, we don't shortcut, shortcut, okay? That is a corporate instruction to shortcut. Use something method too. Uh, some ways it's great, some ways not, not that great too, because sometimes spoil the people too, you know. Some ways like in this gen generation time, we have so much obscurations, so much this negative conditions, and very hard to connect with the Dharma. So this bit instruction is great to us. That's also our, uh, some levels, our, you know, uh, accumulation merit due to that we have connections. So that's where it's like great, you know, think about another way. So then you recognize that way you put effort practice, then become this teaching is great. Teaching is great. We are also great practitioner become. Otherwise, like see, if we give the great, great teaching, then we don't understand that we don't put effort anything, become its fit instruction, special instruction is just, you don't use right direction. Someone give you one million coupon, 100, one million dollars coupon for you. You don't buy anything, just coupon is become you know, pu you push in the trust like that. That's it. You know, you don't get anything. Uh, so then he, this nature is so hard to understand. 
because the reason is very simple. Then how do we recognize only Guru's instruction, right? Peter instruction. So that's where we recognize. Then what is our problem is our problem is, uh, so lots like this part is coming more is a path, you know, the ground we have that nature, every beings have the same nature. We have that it's there, but we don't recognize because due to we create a complicated, you know, uh, so we don't recognize that. So now here, uh, it's a uh, lot like more followed by the the you know path, uh, elaboration, and analysis are super superfluities of thought. So this section, okay, some levels we must have to have. When you are right now, we're sharing this instruction, with instruction, this also become obstacle too. Okay. So example, when you practice Manjushri, we need the Tanka, right? Statues. Okay. But so Tanka statue helps you recognize that, but then you also cannot be attached to the your tanka and the statue. Uh, so otherwise that also become wrong way, you know, wrong direction. Uh, also when you see practice a generation stage, you need the tanka and the statue. When you are in the completion stage, you don't need the tanka and the statue. Still you're looking in the tanka and the statue support. Your, you cannot into the uh, the completion stage, general, you know, in the natural state. See, this is like like that way. Uh, some levels we need, but some levels we don't need. Okay, you have to understand that. Uh, when you cross the ocean, you need a boat, but you get in the land. Still, your boat is going to put into your head, carry in the shoulder. No, right. Don't do that, otherwise you're just suffering yourself. So when you cross the river or ocean, just boat, then leave it there, you, you get the island, enjoy in the island. Don't worry about the boats, yeah? So, so like that, when we study on the path, of course we need these intellectuals and the teachings, all this needed to help us. But when you're into the natural state of meditation, don't think about these things. Just all is let go. So that's why I see elaboration and analysis are superfluities of thought. Then that also become thought too. Positive thoughts, negative thoughts, doesn't matter that all thoughts. Yeah, we cannot stuck with any of these thoughts. Uh, so yeah, when we are in the, you know, like uh, study and uh, listening, teaching, sometimes like that, you can investigate. Uh, you can, you know, think about, oh, this cup is impermanent. It's great thought, good, positive thought. When you are in the state of natural mind, Still, you're thinking about your cup is impermanent. You analyze that, it's wrong. Incorrect, right? It's you create more thoughts become. Okay? So when you are in the, your nature, still you think about, oh, my religion is perfect. Other don't have this kind. That also thought, it's become no great. Oh, my teacher is perfect, no. Oh, Buddha is perfect. No, no, in the, in the natural state. You don't have to think about that. Have to let go. So that's why he, he says, elaboration and analysis are superfluities of thoughts, okay? This create thoughts again. This uh, Mpang Rinpoche is a very famous scholar. The scholars always say you have to analyze. 
Yeah, that is the first word, the most important that you have to analyze, you have to investigate. But he is a scholar with the understanding nature, you know, he has a realization person, so he knows absolute truth in the nature. When you meditate that, you cannot analyze. So analyze, we have to let go. Why are seeking and cultivating serve only to exhaust it? So then that is you create difficulty yourself become. So no one create your suffering, you create your own suffering. You're, we're making our own problem. We create our own problem. We create our own distractions. So why are seeking is uh, and cultivating serve only to exhaust it? No good, good, you know. Then, so this is like exactly when we in the absolute true nature meditation, what we have to do, you know. Don't use any analyze. Don't cultivate anything. Okay. Focusing and meditating are trap that merely bend. See, we when we meditate, we talk about the mindfulness. Mindfulness meditation is great, perfect, very benefit for us, help us. But when you meditate, Mahamudra and Dzogchen, no need. Okay, no need means like you can prepare that first. It's part of it you can put in the preparation, not in the main practice. Okay, so. Uh, we meditate to see shamatha meditation. Shamatha meditation, we use focus with breath, focus with object. That is, helps really us, benefit us. But when you meditate Mahamudra Dzogchen, no. No use any object. So no focusing there. And meditating are trap that merely bend. See, that's also become is is bend again. You know, merely bend. Uh, so that time is have to let go. So they have one example. I don't know how I can explain the example is the the ordinary rope or golden ropes rope you have like chain you know chain golden chain or ordinary rope so which which one they tied to you in the you know same thing you know like golden chain tied to you in the in the pillar may you torture you are suffering or just ordinary rope tied to you in the pillar suffering too same thing okay but you not you have a golden chain, rope, rope, and uh, ordinary rope, which is good. Okay, golden is like, of course, like, so, so much cost. You can say that you can have so much money, right? You can use, you can enjoy that. Like that, you know, many practices, like, we need that good for us, but some levels we have to let go. So otherwise, the same is like, you know, doesn't matter which ropes, anywhere you get the tracked there, you know. That makes sense, understand? Okay. So, well, what the one uh, video is uh, in the, his, his holiness Dalai Lama's sharing, he's sharing the video uh, teaching. So he said, when he was young, he has uh, his wap, you know, wap, and the tutors has a wap. So the wap is, has a like, yellow wap. And others has just like see horses, like just ordinary wap is like no yellow wap. They're ready to be the holiness, so they have a yellow wap, <laughs> web, right? Something. It doesn't matter which web you hit. So it's it's uh, it's painful, right? Same thing, pain. But log is different. Okay, so golden 
golden, like yellow ore, it's precious, great. So you good for your perception, right? But if the you that heat, same suffering, same thing, same pain, and the same thing, you know, like when you go into the, the natural state, the positive thoughts, negative thoughts, both have let go. Otherwise, both are, you know, it's a trap that merely bend you too. Okay, so the holiness has yellow up. He also like pain too, you know, if the heat is pain. The relief heat, I don't know, but just showing, you know, the make scared the kids, like we don't know, could be do so. Uh, so now what we have to do, let such painful complexity cease within the mind. This is a very powerful word, very, very powerful. See, let such painful complexity cease within the mind. So all the suffering have let go our mind, you know. Mean point, we have to recognize our own nature. If we don't recognize our own nature, until that, this suffering never exhaust. The problem is never end. So whatever we do is only temporary effects, temporarily fixing things. We think, oh, see, think about the days. Today is you done great. Tomorrow is that helps you? No. Tomorrow you have to do again something. You know, today you done the good breakfast. Okay, when you wake up morning, you have good breakfast, you make up everything, you have good showers. That's, that you did done something great? No, tomorrow you have to do again, right? So all is temporary fixed. Never ever done anything. So same like that, whatever we're doing, all these worldly things, never ever done. The job is never done, never finished. So then when is the, our, this job is done, let such pain for complexity cease within the mind. So realize our own nature, waking up our own mind. So, you know, understanding nature just must have to have a realization, come from our own mind. So then all the suffering is exhausted. That time the practitioner is where they, wherever there is always great. This uh, object, uh, you know, like conditions never ever affected to their happiness. Their happiness is not depending anyone. Our happiness is depending for others. You know, then our happiness is dependent for others. Long as your happiness is dependent for your other people, other beings, then your happiness is always changing. It's, that's it's called change of suffering of change. Okay, suffering of change. So no perfect there, all the time change. That is the like ordinary people ask. Everything is dependent for others. So when the, this realizes, then not dependent for others, they always have, have happiness, truly happiness, already gone, suffering. Uh, let such painful complexity cease within the mind. So the main point, have to realize the natural mind. Uh, other, you know, practice, uh, that always helps us taking into this natural state. So that's why we have so many different levels of practice. All these practice different ways helping to us recognize our own nature ceases within, you know, this less such painful complicity ceases within our mind. So that's the reason we cannot say, oh, I want only this practice and no others. 
you have to use all the different methods when you depend on you know, your situation. So no, everyone don't have this capacity, like directly go into the natural state, let go everything. No one has that capacity. So that's the reason this is like called performed, very deep and without accumulation merit, we don't share means someone think, oh, I don't need the four thoughts of meditation. Okay, I just go to directly my guru's fit instruction and I use that in the natural state, then that, you know, reject all the other practice. So that time, then you get wrong direction, means like you already have, uh, we say like, you know, uh, the, you have uh, obscurations. Due to that, not sharing this directly to the teaching, because that's why we let do, you know, like at least do the Vajrasava practice. So some levels you, you understand, okay, that's very important, yeah? So when you say, okay, food is important, eating food is delicious, I'm only going to eat, I'm not going to go to grocery, I'm not going to pay money for buy there. What are you going to do then? Who going to, you, know, you get always good delicious food into your mouth, right? So, so same like that, you know, uh, if you wanted to practice this Mahamudra Dzogchen, you have to use all other method. Practice. Never ever think other is not important. Long as you have that kind of thinking other is not important, then that time you're already like going into obstacle into your mind. So whatever opportunities, dedications, practice, create accumulations, like we have to use that. Then you have to know that's all is the same as a boat, taking you to the cross the river, okay? So we have to recognize we are in the sinking into the river and dying. We don't know how to swim and we are dying in the river. We need whatever like, you know, small boat, bigger boat, or just play over, play over some wood, whatever we can hold to not die, you know, like, so we have to use whatever we get like that. Whatever we get conditions, we have to practice, use that. And then some levels you have to go into the meditate like nature, okay? Let such painful complicity cease within the mind. So then, uh, that's realized nature is like all the, the Suffering is gone. Okay, what time is? I think we can leave it there uh, today. So the take break there. Have to do the Varjasava practice too. Kempo, people have asked if you're going to give the transmission. What what transmission? For this text, the Manjushri text. This text is uh, more and more beyond the transmission. It's a teaching, explain it. Okay. <laughs> yes. Long as you join the teachings, like transmission is there. Okay, thank you. Actually, empowerment also there too. <laughs> Understand. Great empowerment is there too, right? Uh, so sometimes like people who don't have a opportunity to receive a whole teaching, then they ask like transmission. So someone has a opportunity to receive a whole teaching, so then there has more beyond the transmission. Uh, so these teachings I told you, your commitments is like you have to beginning to end to study and the chant the 100, no 100 is my already most used to that 100,000. 10,000 accumulation what just about. If you do 100,000 things, I'll post station to you. <laughs> Great. So good to do that. 
but at least uh, 10,000, that's also good, you know. Uh, yeah. So then if you don't have time to join 100%, I mean, like you some strong something, condition comes, then you can listen and recording, that's it. And otherwise, like just join and the listening, that's different than you listening the recording. Okay, so uh, no. Kenpo, can you please give uh, the auto transmission uh, Varja Sato Shadada, please? Varja Sava? Yeah. Varja Sava, yes, I can do because of Varja Sava, we know teaching, sharing, you know. And yeah, this is teaching is do needed to uh, the transformation. Varja Sava, yes, I'm thinking about that yeah. too. Thank you. Okay, so now I do the Varja Sava transformation, then we're going to finish the practice. Yeah. Sarjay <laughs> Okay, so now we finish the Vajasava transformation and go to the uh, sadhana page five. Om Benzara Sato, 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 Om this merit which represented the matter merit accumulated through all the three times. It's dedicated to the uh, welfare of all limitless living beings. May each safely achieve the enlightened state of Varjasava. On all appearances pure as the ornament of the enlightened body. All songs is perfect as the play of enlightened speech. All thoughts are fully wrapping as the state of enlightened mind. May the splendor of Guru Varjasava fully endowed bless us preciously. Now we go to the dedication Tibetan. Om den zuan de song ge zogeng palen drove Kenjang Dorje Sembaye, Kompany or the Tobare Shotachine, Om Kanan Kaye Jindata, Dada Naja Rovarzo, Tendo Toje Nandemi, Pinto Pambaraji so thank you everyone and join the teaching. Today, four o'clock, East Coast time. Please join the dedication practice. So this dedication prayer is a, uh, uh, check the, the main point is, uh, so,
so okay the this is the the send email from the tibetan community the uh chomtor teaching so this month is called chomtor teaching chomtor teaching means like miraculously month uh buddha subdued all the competitions uh the 15th day of the first tibetan month kata is tibetan is organizing the virtual prayer with the dugong damasya it is a holy day to pray particularly for the lives lost to the covid-19 pandemic across the world more than 500,000 in the us please see below for virtual prayer information so we doing this you know we want uh, kenbo samdro lead the practicing uh, so the same same the zone group i mean the zone number is the same thing so you saying same this zone number and uh, this practice is today is a four moon day uh, we do the dedication prayer for who lose the life due to the coronavirus in the world you know so we uh create a sadhana also amanda helps like we create a sadhana for do the this prayer we have tibetan and english uh, together so join this practice and uh, also help for this tibetans their expire i mean the like you know get uh, aspiring for dharma the right now tibetan lamas teachers teach westerner like people and no westerner people need to have the tibetan <laughs> put in the dharma again <laughs> so that they, they, they don't much practice the dharma so join in the group and help them to lead the dharma okay <laughs> so the this uh, organization want to join all the tibetan to pray but we don't know because uh, there may be use, no use to zoom much i don't know how many people coming to join but hopefully the everyone join i don't know so anyway so we have a op good opportunity we do together this practice join for a call today is cost time thank you everyone thank you kempo thank Anyone you anyone the uh, dharma question anything or no Today okay thank you. everyone. Thank you. Uh, thank you. 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 Thank you.